All right. This one was also showing 50.1 previously. Sometimes this shows 50, sometimes it shows 50.1. Uh, this had a lower resolution mode, which was the default. I enabled it to be point, you know, zero one accurate, which is, uh, gives you a better idea. It's not 100% accurate, though. This guy used to have a backlight. Well, so this one takes a long time to adjust as you can see but it's actually pretty accurate for cheap scale oh that's a little off well it's getting there so it used to have a backlight i think it's maybe the battery's just low uh, was it under guessing i've only you know usually this is uh either 50 or 50.1 so yeah this uh this one guesses pretty quick. This one I think was quicker if we change it on low resolution because now it's like taking time to try and figure out if it's like 0 0.3, 0 0.4. This one's just always slow. There's no option for a less accurate mode. But I think it is pretty accurate. Right on if this is actually 50 grams as it's supposed to be. Yeah, this is the, uh, uh, the uh, Jimmy. Here it is, 100 gram. So this one is also doing the same thing, 100.1 sometimes, 100. Never seen it do 99.8. So this corner, there you go. 0.1, that's the usual. 9.9, .9, not the usual. Yeah, so pretty close. That's 100.1, oh, and it's still guessing. This would round up to 100.1 if it was rounding up. Try again. Now it would round down. All right, let's try low resolution mode, see if it's faster. This is faster. Seems to be more accurate this way. Consistent, I mean. Same as this one. And this one has turned off. It takes a little while to start up. Actually, let's show you the startup time. Starting to drip. I don't know what the pressure is. Okay, there we go. I'm getting a disparity. Right, I'm just going to steady it around nine bars for now. Yeah, one says like 12, the other one's 16. Which one's which? Timing is about the same. I'm going to stop around 30. So 
So we either got 30 or 27.5. Scale's pretty frustrating. So, uh, if I want to tear, if I want to do the tear save feature with this one, so it's stable ish, doesn't hold the tear button, it's supposed to be for two seconds. It just shows the previous weight, but how do I get to save the new weight? If I hold it longer, it says H2O, like. Tap this, doesn't do anything. Yeah, it says cup. Like, why does it say cup sometimes? Am I supposed to clear it by like pressing this? Save. Oh, okay. Did it save? So I might have done something there. So I think I saved zero. I don't know how or why, but uh, let's put this back. Let's see if now I can click this and save it. Oh, there we go. Like, why is it so hard? What did I do wrong? Or what did I do right this time? So now, yeah, so now it's recalling the correct weight. That's what I wanted. One thing I noticed with the Akaya Lunar is uh, it's very sensitive. If I open this uh, cover here, it seems to jump around a little more than I mean my table's not that stable. I can shake it a little and that will yeah, that will do that. The other guys are that shouldn't be zero, but uh, yeah. So the Jimmy is pretty stable. Here, let's try it with this actually. Yeah, so it jumps around a little by like 0.1 of a gram, but the uh, but you know what? That's probably all. Uh, I tweak the settings. Well, I tweak the settings on both of them, but. Uh, I'm sure there's a setting in there uh, that can change how sensitive it is if I just blow on them. This probably catches more wind, but uh, I noticed this one is more sensitive to like a breeze. Um, so yeah, that's something to be aware of. Uh, I noticed with the app, uh, the Jimmy app, this guy, um, takes a little while to connect to, and I like that the Akaya ones are uh, very quick to connect to the app. Although I'm not sure how useful any of these apps are, they're not really that great to use, but uh, yeah, I thought the Akaya ones would be better, but they're alright. Uh, the Jimmy one, not quite as nice design-wise, but uh, yeah, I think it's uh, it's it's practical. They both work. Uh, the cool thing about the Jimmy is it has uh, the customizable like the custom settings. Whoops! See, I keep forgetting how to turn this on and off. So this one, you got to hold the button to get to the custom settings. Then you go through different modes. You can turn on different modes, different off different modes. With the Jimmy, you can do that through the app, which is cool because you don't have to use the, uh, yeah, you don't have to use this thing, so, uh, let's see, stable, oh yeah, that's just the LED indicator, so this might be, Let's see if this is a little more stable. Here, let's try 0.1. So let's see if that changes anything. It's my firmware version. So. <laughs> now I think it's jumping around even more, if anything. Yeah, so that didn't really help. Uh, I'm sure there's there's probably another setting that might have been the wrong the wrong setting. So let's change that back. If I can find it. Sense. 
I think the default was off. Filter, that might be it. I did change it from high to normal, which I think actually, yeah, let's try high. So I think this makes it faster. Oh, oops, so uh, we got it on auto. Okay. Yeah, let's have it so we have some weight on here. So we got 99.8. Yeah, still jumps around a bit, but that might have not even been the right setting, so who knows. Okay, well here's a test that's not very practical. So I'm going to drop one bean, that is 0 0.2 grams, that actually be 0 0.1 grams, if this scale's accurate. which this one might be. And this one, yeah, I noticed this has a little more, I think there's a setting which will change this. This one actually measures, oh, 0 0.1. So, yeah, 0 0.1, and drop it down, still zero. Now if I add another bean, now we got 0 0.2, which is probably what these weigh, maybe 0 0.2 or 0.3. Yep, this one's saying 0.26, so I mean it should round up if that is the case. So it should say 0.3. So we're getting 0.2 on that. And point three on this one. So it seems like the Jimmy is better at this not so practical test. One bean. One point one. Point one. Should be point one. Yeah, that's a little off. That's yeah, point three. But if I do two beans, whoops, two beans, 2.2. But yeah, no one's gonna measure a single bean. I think if you are, here, let's do it like this. So let's say more practically, you have Let's try that again. Whoops, I'm gonna use different beans though. So yeah, I think it's the same thing. It's just, it starts counting after the uh, second bean. So we got 0 0.5, this is also 0 0.5. This I didn't tear, but that's probably about 0 0.5. So yeah, both of them, oh, 0 0.4 now. <laughs> so yeah, if I add another bean, it's gonna go 0 0.6. There we go. Same thing here, I'm gonna try and get it to seven or eight. This is a big bean. Yep, seven or eight. <laughs> yep, oh, okay. So yeah, measuring coffee beans is not, uh, not gonna be a problem with either of them. And I think there is a setting that's basically like the stable, the zero point is more stable if uh, uh, with a certain setting so that it ignores small changes. That way it's not, you know, fluctuating with the, every breeze, which I noticed it does. If you like shake the table or anything, it does fluctuate a lot. So I think that kind of limits that, although the Jimmy seems to be doing a better job of that. And it could detect a smaller uh, 0 0.1, you know, gram uh, addition at without having to do two or three beans. But uh, yeah, not really a big deal. Just uh, probably something you could change in settings.
the thing I like about the, uh, the Heroia Hero? Heroia? Jimmy? Um, this mine came with, uh, well, I got it from my friend, but uh, I think he applied this uh, custom rubber mat, so I like it because, like, when you knock something down on it, it's nice to have a padding. Um, this comes with a little rubber pad that's removable. I might just get some double sided tape and uh, tape it down. Whoops. Um, because, uh, yeah, and it's also a little small. I mean, it'd be nice if it went all the way to the closer to the edge. Um, but it's all right for the most, most part. Um, but yeah, it just seems like when you pick it up, it's, uh, you know, it might slip off and, uh, cause you to drop your scale. Uh, kind of like the adhesive, but I mean, I guess you can wash this easier. Um, I don't like the idea of having, like, yeah, it's like hard, putting something hard down on a hard surface. It just feels nicer when there's a rubber, rubber pad, like, uh, especially with a big cup or something. So yeah, the, uh, but this is an extra that I think uh, someone, you know, you have to buy extra and add on. Um, and apparently it might be hard to find in Canada. Um, so I'm hesitant to uh, resell this, uh, this Jimmy, even if, uh, even if I like the, the Kaya better. I don't know. I like them both. This one is better for pour overs because it's, uh, you know, better, bigger size and it has more rubber pad. Um, this, you're kind of limited to having your cup or whatever sit on that little surface, uh, which I think would work, but it seems like it's, you know, it's so small for, uh, for a big, uh, cup. And also, the display might get obstructed where this one, you have, <laughs> you can go wherever you want and, uh, yeah, you can put a big bowl or something on there, like a, sometimes when weighing green coffee or weighing out coffee to uh, put in bags or, you know, give to someone else. Um, I'll use a big bowl and uh, it would otherwise obstruct the display, but I can take off the display. But doesn't really matter because with either of these you can connect to your phone and then use that as an external display. So if you had something big on top of your scale, like right now, <laughs> I can't see what the other scale is saying. Um, you could just use your phone app and it will show you what the uh, weight is. And the cool thing, the good thing about this is actually this this whole thing is, is weighable. On this, if something's touching that, uh, this part, it won't weigh it. It's only this, but that's why this is good because now it could weigh a big uh, box or whatever. And there's nothing to obstruct the, uh, to, to mess with the weighing. Uh, which I guess isn't a problem on this either, because, uh, yeah, the whole thing is, is the scale as well. Uh, what else? Uh, USB-C on this, which is nice. Uh, the other one has a old school USB-B port, or, I don't know, mini port, uh, where you gotta put it in one way and not the other, otherwise you can damage it, so, uh, a little nicer to just plug it in and not have to worry about which orientation you're plugging it. Um, and if you have a Android phone with USB-C then you already have uh, cables lying around and uh, chargers even though it does come with its own cable. Didn't come with a power brick though. I think the uh, Jimmy might be a better scale in some ways but uh, and it's a lot less money too. Uh, they used to be uh, on sale from a certain Canadian retailer uh, for I think 200 Canadian where the Kaya 2021 model is like 360 um, or the older one is like 315 something like that uh, but these are usually 300 if they're not on sale I think that site is no longer selling them for some reason and another site has them they're like $300 now so uh, it's a little bit of a toss-up whether you want uh, one or the other. Depends on, you know, if this is going to fit your drip tray. Um, and if you want a big one or a smaller one. Uh, uh, if you have something like, if you're thinking of getting an Ikea Orbit grinder, then uh, this would be the better choice because it will allow it to uh, 
it'll communicate with it and give you more features. Same with like a smart espresso machine, like a decent. Uh, actually, you know what? I think this one should work with the decent too. Uh, so that doesn't matter. Um, I think, yeah, it's also compatible. Um, okay, so if you are also doing pour overs, I'd say the, uh, the Jimmy is the better choice because it has a much larger surface. Uh, I think the capacity is the same. They're both 2000 uh, grams, which is fine. You could fit a big uh, Chemex heavy ceramic or glass uh, thing in a mug and you won't really reach your uh, capacity. Um, at least in my experience. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, so the one advantage I've noticed, uh, besides the nicer display, brighter, you can actually make this a lot brighter too on the uh, on the Ikaya Lunar. Um, the nice thing I noticed is uh, for the espresso, the flow rate, so you can see how it automatically tears and then it should start the timer with flow, so I'm going to try and simulate that, but it's hard to trick it sometimes. Yeah. It's not letting me trick it. <laughs> um, sometimes with a really slow flowing espresso shot, I will notice with the Jimmy, that one also has the auto start and auto stop timer. So this one I could trick, it's not quite as smart. And let's say the flow stops. Oh, is it going to stop? There, okay. So now, additional weight, oh, it reset. So yeah, it will, it will basically, I think because I was going like that, it reset itself. Let's see. So let's simulate that again. We've got flowing, flowing, flowing. And let's say the shot stops. Come on. Yeah, it's getting confused because we lost all the weight. There we go. All right. So now if I press weight on there, it's not registering. So if it kept dripping, um, it wouldn't register. Where this one keeps registering the weight even after the time stops. It will, uh, if it thinks your shot is stopped, it will keep weighing. So with a really slow flowing espresso shot, the jimmy often will, will mess up. That's if it's like an inconsistent drip rate, where it seems like it's uh, just really slow and it, it thinks it's stopped. So that will mess up your, your weighing and your timing. Uh, you won't know how much uh, espresso you've got in your cup until you measure it after. So yeah, this one didn't have that problem. It seems to be fine. It's smart enough to not even stop the timer uh, usually. Even if uh, the flow rate is really slow and I'm getting inconsistent drips, it seems to keep the timing until it's actually done. So a little program, a little smarter programmed, uh, I think. And it, uh, and if you're using something like a Euro Piccola lever machine where you have a, you know, you have a little extra dripping after, after the main uh, shot, if you don't move your cup away, it will keep dripping. That actually will register. Like it will count those extra drips, which is good to know. Um, Cause you know, if you stop it at 30 grams, you might end up with 32 if you don't move your cup away. And I think that should count. Um, so good for lever machines. So uh, yeah, the, you notice the uh, Jimmy auto tears a little faster. I don't think it matters practically, but look at that cup down, boom. Boom. Oh, a little slow this time. Oh, I think it's, yeah, it's confused. There you go. Boom. Not so boom. Um, boom. Uh, what was I saying? So yeah, the good thing about the uh, Lunar is if it has a slow flowing shot, it seems to be smart enough to keep the count. And even if it stopped the count, it would still continue uh, weighing. So it's especially useful if you have like the lever machine where you get extra drips after you stop the espresso shot. 
uh, it will count those extra drips. So you might stop the shot when it's 30 grams in the cup, and then you might get an extra one or two grams if you don't move your cup out uh, fast enough. So I think that should count, um, and this will count it. And it will also prevent it from messing up on those slow uh, espresso shots. So that's good, because I often grind too fine and mess up my espresso shots that way. Well, I mean, they still taste good, so... Uh, yeah, grinding too fine sometimes ends up in, in good results, uh, depending on how far you go, but uh, yeah, don't, uh, don't judge it by the timing, so don't just uh, throw away your coffee, always make sure you try it and uh, see if it's good. Sometimes it might surprise you, but it is annoying if you have the timer going and then it stops and then you don't know, you know, how many grams are in your cup. But uh, I think I've been getting pretty good at estimating. When, when you use different cups, though, it is a little more, a little trickier, because you don't know the level exactly. But uh, I'm getting pretty good at estimating. Last time that happened, I got, like, exactly 30 grams, which is what I was aiming for. And, uh, yeah, I just, I transferred it into another cup to weigh it, to, to figure it out. And, uh, yeah, surprised I got it right. So one thing I kind of like better on the Jimmy is the sleep mode or the standby mode. Um, I don't know how much it makes a difference because, uh, so you see on this, uh, on the Akaya Lunar, uh, it kind of dims after whatever you set it to, I think five minutes. Actually, I think I set it to less. Um, but it will dim the display and go into like the power saving mode. This one will totally turn off the display, where it will look like it's off, but it'll remember and instantly resume. Um, so if I have this, you know, this weight teared already, it will remember. So I kind of like that, but I mean, I think the battery life, uh, this has a larger battery, I think. Uh, so yeah, the battery life, uh, from what I hear, should be a lot better on the Akaya, but it isn't bad on the jimmy i charge it every few weeks maybe like three weeks Ooh. once a month yeah um but i've heard people say they hadn't had to charge their uh, uh kaya scale for you know half a year uh, curious how long they'll last the other thing i noticed that i like better on the jimmy than i do on the uh, kaya lunar scale um a couple times i tried you know i tried tearing it and doesn't register. There we go. Maybe I didn't get it in the right spot. Um, or this one. Whoops. <laughs> I think it takes like a second to register, especially for like turning it on or off. But uh, I don't know. Seems to have a better success rate with uh, with this one. There's also one more button. There's a reset button, power mode button. Um, this one works differently. You just tap once to switch between modes. This one you gotta tap and hold to switch between modes, which I don't love. Um, let's turn it on or off, you gotta hold it. So, it's a little bit of a delay. I did a video where I timed it, and they both turn on about the same. Right, so this one's turned off, to double tap. Uh, this one's turned on. Oh, wait, yeah, double tap. To turn it on, you just tap it quick. Oh, missed it. So, uh, I noticed this one's more likely to accidentally turn on. Um, maybe, actually, yeah. Because this one you gotta hold, like, here, actually, let's test it. So if I just accidentally graze it, so it's not gonna accidentally turn on by, like, a brief touch. You gotta hold it for a second. Uh, with this one, if you graze it, whoops, I keep forgetting, you gotta double tap to turn it off. Yeah. Okay, well, let's try that again. So let's say I'm just, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've turned it on accidentally just by, like, carrying it. Um, or this one, I may have done the same thing with that one, too. Uh, the pads on the Akaya, I had to apply myself. Um, little pads, but you do get an option of slipping, slippery or uh, more sticky padding. Um, 
and on the Jimmy scale, uh, it comes with its own nice non-stick uh, pads that uh, have a good amount of grip. So uh, yeah, you don't have to apply those yourself, I don't think. I mean, I did get this used. So yeah, but I think it comes applied. With these, you gotta apply yourself, and hopefully I did it right. That seems pretty accurate, so. One thing I forgot to mention that I don't like about the Jimmy, but I don't know if there's any way around it. I mean, I guess they could have programmed it uh, to be a little smarter, but first time I uh, tried turning it on, or first, when I first got it, so if you don't have the head attached and you try and turn it on, oops, it's magnetic, it wants to go back. So let's say you can turn it on. Oh, what? It's working? <laughs> How did that happen? Wow. Okay, well, normally that wouldn't happen. So what happens is it just kind of says uh, Jimmy and doesn't, or Heroya, doesn't do anything. It just kind of pauses until you turn it off and attach it and turn it back on. Somehow that worked, maybe because it was close enough to it. You can turn it off just fine without the head detached. With, with the head detached, but let's try that again. Roya. So yeah, so that's uh, this is what will happen. So we'll just kind of freeze on that. And at first when I got it, I was like, oh no, it's not working. And even if you put it back on, it will do nothing until you turn it off and start it up. So I think what happens is this is the control unit, and then it needs to tell this to basically start up. And it can't do that because it doesn't have the Bluetooth on this all the time because it's off. So I don't know how it worked that other time, but if it's connected, it works. Maybe because I just shut it down? Oops. So yeah, let's try it again. Huh. Funny, it worked that one time. It was connected, it was like over here, so. See you. Yeah, weird, it worked once. When I was trying to demonstrate how it doesn't work, it worked. And some kids crying. Alright, so I do kind of like how quick this one auto tears. Versus. Uh, so I also adjusted some settings for uh, it was kind of fluctuating a little too much and I didn't like that. Um, on the Akaya. So when I open, so I got this drawer right, and then, oh, so at zero it seems pretty stable. Let's see, we got, whoops, okay, yeah, so you see how it jumps around? That was from opening. Um, so yeah, let's change, whoops, change modes. Okay, we don't need a timer. Um, so yeah, let's say, Six. So yeah, I open the cover, this whole desk kind of shakes, so this is with uh, shaking around, it still jumps around a little. Um, the other guy beep. Uh, yeah. Here, let's measure this again. Wait, why is it on auto tear? Did I press something? Beeped at me. So yeah, I think it is a little more stable. Um, yeah, so it jumps a little bit between seven and eight. How about this guy? Right, this is on. Uh, oops. One oh seven. Okay, so I open, close the drawer. 
fluctuating a little bit. It's shaking a lot. Um, I mean, my table is shaking a lot. So we got a, you know, point, I think I saw a point 0.6. That's mostly point 0.7 and 8. And we'll just keep doing that. Yeah, 7 and 8. So on this one, without opening it, it's between 7 and 8. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, it was stable for a second there. So yeah, it went all the way down to like 0. It jumps around a lot more. Maybe it's just faster to measure. Um, so the important part is, can it still weigh? Oh, so this is the cool thing. Oops, wait, I gotta learn how to do it. So you press and hold, whoop, press and hold tear. It remembers the weight of this, so that should be about one gram of coffee beans. Here, actually. It's One gram. And to verify, it's not all of them. One gram. Okay. So the interesting thing is can we weigh one bean? And I find. Okay, hold on. Let's redo that. Dropping one bean. Oh. It worked this time. Last time it wasn't working until it got 0.2 grams. So maybe this is a big enough, heavy enough bean. Yeah, it works. Nice. Tear. Okay, let's try with the smaller bean. <laughs> hey, it's working. Okay, it wasn't working the other, the other night with the same settings. Um, This one, yeah, I drop in one and it goes to point 0.1. Drop in two, it should go to point 0.2 or 3. This is the big one. Uh, here, let's try another couple beans. So just drop one bean on, point 0.2. Same bean, point 0.2. So yeah, it's doing good today. I don't know. Maybe uh, that's another bean that's point 0.1. It should be point 0.1 or point 0.2. Okay, before it wasn't working. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you look at them both, open. Oh, wait, they need some weight on there. So. Yeah, so the Akaya jumps around a little more. That one's pretty confident at uh, five. And do you think it's because of the weight difference? Oh, all right. So yeah, I was just tapping the, the desk there. <sighs> Me blowing on them, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so yeah, I like uh, I like both scales. Up. I was gonna keep one of them and sell the other one, but I think I'm probably gonna keep both. This one is better for pour overs, which I uh, rarely do. It's gonna, yeah. So like this. Oh, I'm in the wrong mode. <laughs> Oh no, I was in the right mode. It's supposed to auto tear, isn't it? This is also supposed to auto tear and then start the timer, but it's not working. Reset. So it's supposed to, yeah, it's supposed to do that. And then start the timer in this mode. And that did it. And. Oh, and this one I don't have that mode enabled, but I think it does have this mode too. This one's supposed to tear, and then it will start the timer with flow. So I do notice this one is smarter with like my slow flowing. Like if I do a, a pre infusion, uh, it's it's a lot smarter with its um, detecting <laughs> the flow rate. Um, 
that's a feature if you have an espresso shot and then you lift the cup it will tell you the flow the time and so that means it was 1.1 milliliters a second or grams a second which are basically equivalent um i don't know how i managed to get that because that's just dropping the uh yeah anyway yeah it's kind of it's it's awkward to get used to uh this one you tap and hold to turn off that one you tap twice to turn off and this one you tap to change modes so sometimes i'll try and change modes on this and i'll end up turning it off or something uh, i also noticed it's a little if you're greasy you know i got some coffee splatter on there from the other day but uh yeah you notice a little bit of uh, fingerprints on there this one doesn't seem to show the fingerprints as much or uh, grease marks but yeah i like them both oh yeah so i forget if i mentioned that i did follow uh, akaya's uh, recommendations for kind of making it uh, less sensitive and more stable um for doing that previous test um yeah i don't see any downside though like it seems like I'm going to take away a bean, add a bean. So, uh, supposedly it's less stable, but I mean more stable, but uh, it still seems to work pretty well. Uh, but uh, yeah, the Jimmy seems to be more stable and uh, equally as sensitive. Um, Maybe it just doesn't read out like as you know the vibrations as quickly i don't know but i thought that's what i changed on the settings on uh, the akaya too so uh yeah